Hello friends, welcome. Today I will try to answer one very common question in the oral examination that why does the hurricane take a specific path that it takes. So let's get started. As you can see in the diagram, the cyclone usually starts and then move towards west with a slight component towards the poles and then all of a sudden it starts to move east. So the first movement is very simple to understand. Once the cyclone has formed, there are easterly winds in that area, the easterly trade winds. And as a result, your cyclone has started moving westwards now. Then the next step the cyclone takes is, it moves towards the pole. And why does it do that? So to explain that, you have to understand the gyroscopic precision. I'm sure most of you have heard about this while doing your mates exam. If you have not, Basically, the gyro compass works on this principle. Gyro compass is nothing but a freely rotating object which will always point in a certain direction. And when there is a force which is made to act on a gyroscope or a freely rotating object, it will deflect in a direction which is not the same direction as the force but 90 degree to it. This is what you have to remember. When a force is acted, the deflection is in a direction 90 degree to that, not in the direction of force. And because of this gyroscopic precision, the TRS moves towards the pole. North pole in the northern hemisphere and south pole in the southern hemisphere. And you may be wondering what is the force that is acting on the hurricane? And the answer is, there is vast amount of warm air which is rising at the axis of the hurricane, which is moving up. And this rising moisture and wind acts like a force which is acting on its axis. So it has to deflect in the 90 degree angle towards the pole. So the TRS exactly does that and it deflects towards the pole. So now the TRS which was quietly moving towards west has started deflecting towards the pole. With this there are a lot of other changes which are happening. The first change is that there was a balance between the rotation of earth and the movement of this hurricane before. And as you know, on the equator, the earth's rotation speed is higher. Basically, the angular momentum on the earth's equator is higher and it's almost zero at the pole. In the middle, there is a intermediate value. And we all know Newton's second law of motion, which is that the rate of change of momentum must stay constant. Thus, there is an angular momentum of the earth which is because of its angular momentum happening at different latitudes and same there is an angular momentum of the TRS. Now because the earth's angular momentum has reduced because the TRS has moved closer to the pole there has to be a compensation. To compensate that the TRS starts to rotate faster and increase its angular momentum. Thus, to preserve this mutual balance, the new direction of this TRS becomes easterly. So basically, it's a three-step process. Because of the trade winds, it moves towards west. And then because of the phenomenon of gyroscopic precision, the TRS gets deflected towards the pole because there is a force acting on its uh, axis, which is the rising warm air. And because the latitude has changed, there is a change of angular momentum of the earth and thus to compensate that the TRS increases its angular momentum increases its speed and starts to move towards the east there is a lot of physics involved but I think if you just remember the key points it will be enough for the exam and before you close this video I have a personal message many of you have enjoyed the stories that I've made on ASM code and uh, SOLAS I've also written two novels at sea, which are very close to my heart. I personally believe that they are very entertaining and insightful at the same time. The name of the first book is In Search of Love and the second one is In Search of Game. In Search of Love is already available in the market and In Search of Game will be launched very soon. So stay in touch in any case. My Instagram ID is available in the description box and also the other details. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for exams and as always, 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग